good afternoon to you this afternoon bringing to you um the information consigning abakira's case with the federal government over an alleged fraudulent activity all right the federal the federal high court in abuja was informed that the suspended deputy commissioner of police abakiari was yet to be served with a suit of the federal government seeking a his extradition to the United States of America to answer to corruption allegations. The federal government, through the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation, had last month went to the Federal High Court for an order for the extradition of Kiara over his alleged involvement in a wire fraud to the tune of $1.1 billion. Wow. At the last proceedings of March 9, 2022, the court heard that he, the court heard that hearing in the suit would commence on March 23rd, 2022, which happens to be today. However, hearing on Wednesday could not take place as scheduled, following the claims that the defendant was yet to be served with the suit. Kiara's lawyer, which happens to be Mr. Nurenu Jimo, informed the court shortly after the matter was mentioned that he was yet to be served with the AGS processes. The federal government's lawyer, Pius Akuta, who is also the head of Central Authority Unit in the office of the AGF, also confirmed that the respondent, Kiara, had not been served with the processes. He went further to explain that the delay in serving the respondent was as a result of the sister case of a sister case that had been filed by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency against Kiara and six others on alleged drug offenses before Justice Emeka Umite. Wow. And this is supposed to be the, the, the custodian of uprightness. And that is who is found promoting um, corruption. Just, just quite unfortunate. All right. According to him, the case before Umite had taken so much of their time responding Trial judge Justice in Yang Eko asked the applicant's lawyer how long it would take them to serve the respondent with the court's processes, to which he said 14 days. Akuta, who said he had within 14 days to effect the service in accordance with the law, promised to serve Kiara's counsel the application by Thursday. In a short ruling, Justice Eko heard that upon service of the processes, the respondent had within 14 days to also respond and give seven more days for the parties to put their house in order. The judge adjourned the matter on the 27th of April 2022 for hearing. The federal government has sought for Kiara's extradition to the United States to answer a case over his alleged link with the fraudulent Ramon Abbas, aka Hush Puppy. The federal government, through the office of the AGF, had filed the application. The application was also filed under the Extradition Act as part of Nigerian government's approval of the request by the U.S. for Kiara's extradition. The suit titled Application for the Extradition of Abba Alahaji Kiara to the United States of America was dated and filed March 2nd on the March 2nd. The application was filed under the Extradition Act as part of Nigerian government's approval of the request by the U.S. for Kiara's extradition. While the AGF is the applicant, Kiara is the respondent in the application. Kiara was the head of Inspector General of Police Special Intelligence Response Team. Wow. And unfortunately, he has this kind of terrible record. You know, this is... um. Um, unfortunately, the same case with so many leaders, so many Nigerian leaders. This is a man who is supposed to be a custodian of uprightness, who is supposed to depromote corruption, who is supposed to reduce corruption to the highest minimum. And now he's the one that is promoting corruption. He's the one that is encouraging it. It is quite unfortunate that the people that should be looked up to as people who are supposed to direct the younger people are not the ones who are promoting what shouldn't be. If it actually comes out to be true that he's actually that he has actually been working with Hush Puppy, which um a, a, all of us know about, um whom we know also as um 
as um a, a, a fraud okay evie has actually been working with this guy for this past times before he was um before he was caught if he has actually been working with this guy what's what kind of example is he showing to the other youths i mean the almighty commissioner of police who is supposed to be a custodian of what is correct custodian of uprightness of who who is going to stand who is supposed to stand against injustice stand against corruption and he's not the one promoting all of these things and it it is quite unfortunate that these are the kind of leaders that we have in nigeria there are a bunch of them and that is why the country is like this that is why the 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 country it is it is as why the country is um is not going forward things are not moving and that is why the youth are becoming worse by the day the the the, the menace is is we are vaging our youth vaging the, the the minds of our youth and people have found an easy way of making money by defrauding other people for crying out loud that's not that's not the easiest way to make money we think it's easy but then there are many things that comes with it there are many consequences that comes with it it is very important as a youth you learn to work hard work hard to earn money there is this joy when you work hard and gain something there is just this joy in it get money get a correct cash man get something that is correct you mustn't defraud someone before you can earn money okay he, he didn't show a very good example moreover he has he has he has actually dented his image right he has dented his image you know there is just this thing that is true that people say that is true and it's just very true it is not someone if okay let me paraphrase it if someone is stealing and the person is not caught of course the person is not a thief it is only when a thief is caught that he or she is known as a thief all right it's only when someone is caught, when someone is caught stealing, that the person will know that this person is a thief, or that somebody will know that this person is actually a thief. The ones who are not caught can never be known as thieves. Everybody is a saint till we are caught doing something. So there are a bunch of them in Nigerian government that have been defrauding Nigerians in one way or the other. But because I've not been caught. And unfortunately for Abakira, he happens to, his own happens to come out to light. And um, and now he is unfortunately facing the consequences of his actions. So I, 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 I urge us, I urge the youth, please try to do something that is correct. There is no gain in defrauding other people to gain. What will he, what will he really profit you like? What's going to be your happiness that you're defrauding other persons for your own gain? It is selfish. It is wickedness. As much as liars in you, you are youth. You have the strength or any other person. You have the strength to do something. Do something on your own. Invest. Do something. Try to work hard. Of course, it will definitely pay. Okay? There is no gain in defrauding other people. There is no gain in doing what causes other people pain for your own pleasure it is it is very very incorrect and i urge us as youth please let us debunk any kind of easy money ideology or whatsoever let's work hard work hard and in a living and enjoy it quietly enjoy it all right thank you very much um this is what we brought to you this afternoon we hope that you will keep following us and you will like and share our channel and we hope that we keep representing we as good citizens of nigeria all right while well, we keep hoping for a better nigeria all right then thank you very much and i also want your comment about this what is your comment what do you think is the cause of this high level of corruption in nigeria like why is it eating us up why is it ravaging why is it has so invaded and and and, and it deep, deep inside deep inside into the minds of 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 nigerians especially the leaders so the issue is that is it that it's 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 
is actually something that is in the Nigerian government that anybody who comes in there becomes effect, infected or it is something that is individualistic, okay? What is actually the problem? Why is corruption at a very high rate in Nigeria? All right, then your comments are very important. All right, thank you very much. Keep following us and keep having a nice day. Thank you.